and welcome back to another video! So, um, I'm gonna be at my mum's uh, today, tonight, and tomorrow. My mum's gonna bring me home um, tomorrow evening when she gets back from work because it's her birthday. So, I'm just going to give her a birthday present and look after her dogs for her while she's at work. Um, but. Um, I'm just going to make this quickly, don't know if there's going to be a video tomorrow, so I'm just going to get this out and it, th this is a video I've been wanting to make for a little while. Anyway, so, um, should, well not should, but could, game developers unionize. Now, this is something that isn't completely black and white. Um, because... The problem is, maybe, uh, when you think about it, like, I don't know all of the intricacies about, like, um, people, like, unionising, um, but t my basic knowledge of it is a group of these people with this job basically just, like, um, stand for something, and then if their uh, employees don't provide it, then they strike. Um, where they basically don't go to work. Um, that's my basic understanding of it. Um, and it, uh, um, the main reason why people are talking about game developers striking or like unionizing is uh, because of crunch time. Now this isn't really something you talk about when you're talking about Nintendo, because Nintendo is very anti-crunch time nowadays. It's more like EA, and I think Bethesda, like, um, you know, the, you know, third party companies mean. I don't know about Sony or Microsoft, I don't know if they really have crunch time, but it's mainly just like those kind of com companies uh, that to, um, just want games out to play out quickly. And uh, um, basically, what crunch time is, if you don't know, is basically. The game developers or whoever the crunch time is uh, is affecting this this isn't a gaming development that only thing. This is something that um, is that every company goes through. Well, sh probably went through at some point, but sh really shouldn't. Where basically um, the employees live at the company, and uh, they don't really get much, if any. Uh, much if any, um, you know, time at home, and th that is very unhealthy for the employees. Ne just in like the gaming industry alone, I think it was like EA again. Um, I don't know what all of the companies that that are doing this off off the top of my head, but um, I do I do know EA is one of them. I think it was e EA one like EA's employees. Was talking about how, um, because of crunch time, like people have been breaking down at work. It's breaking, you know, mentally bro mental breakdowns, like breaking in, down into tears, and they're just not getting enough sleep, and that uh, um, it is is just a horrible state and uh, uh, motivations. You know, no nobody's happy at EA basically, um, and that, that there's a lot. And whenever I hear about one of these news stories, it's usually like um, the quartering um, or um, geeks and gamers. They'll just be like, I think that I think it's I think at least one of those who say this. Well, I think uh, they say that game developers need to unionize. And uh, um, well, unionizing on its own is not a bad idea. We're talking about, but well, the problem is when you're talking about an overinflated industry. There are so many game developers nowadays that if any of them, you know, try to strike, they could be replaced like that, and that, uh, um, that basically, you know, keeps them from striking because it's like, well, if I don't do the work or if I strike or whatever, they're just going to replace me because there's, uh, because you know. There's tons of game developers that would uh, happily take my job if I got fired, um, which pretty much restricts them from striking or really putting up much of a fight because you have no power essentially in this 
in that kind of economy. It's like a um, like here's, here's here's the thing. Here's an analogy here. You're a jumper maker, and you make jumpers and you sell jumpers to shops. But there's just so many jumpers that the jumpers go down in price. So you have to make uh, more jumpers to get as much money as you did. You can't just strike and just like, I'm not making jumpers because uh, then um, they're just going to buy jumpers uh, from one of the other 50 pe other people that are also making jumpers. So you have to just keep on making jumpers and keep on just like lowering the prices to keep competitive. And that's basically what's happening in the gaming industry. Where instead of uh, someone making jumpers, it's someone's made. It's someone that's making a video game, and they're, they're their employers, you know, are basically the people who they sold the, the jumpers to. So they can't. I, I do wish they could unionize because crunch time. E even Nintendo has uh, um, even uh, commented on it. Crunch time. Yeah, that is poor business like nobody should have to go through such bad crunch times as as uh, games developers have been uh recently uh, there's pretty pretty much all year round crunch time for some companies and um, from what i've heard um and even nintendo's just like um it, this is, we don't do crunch times because um that's bad for the employees so yeah unfortunately all i can say to you if you're a game developer and you're working at ea or bethesda or wherever and they make it and they're just like putting you on the 24 hour crunch time just go work at nintendo or sony or microsoft like that's the best advice i can give you honestly and um, there's not much you can really do because like i said you have no power to just like no i'm putting my foot down because they're just going to fire you and hire someone else really easily. So, that's the main obstacle be, you know, in between uh, game developers and unionizing. The only way I could see them unionizing, they got literally, like, n at least 90% of game developers to uh, unionize together. Um, to make it uh, too uh, much trouble for somebody like EA to fire a game developer, then we hire someone else because then hire someone else because if ninety percent of them are unionizing, then ninety percent of them will be striking, and then you can't fire ninety percent of your staff, can you? Um, but again, you that's a I don't know how many game developers there are in the world, but that's a tall order, and it, uh, um, and I really don't think unemployed game developers would really care that much about um, game n employed game developers being fired because then they're just oh well I can take their job then, and it's unfortunate but it's true. This is just how the way we're well, not the way we're not we're not um oh what so uh Ugandan we're not Ugandan but that's the way the world works. Um, and it, it, you just have to keep a stiff upper lip, as the British say, and just hope for better days. Um, now, I do think eventually game developers could unionise when the market isn't just oh, flooded with uh, game developers looking for jobs, whether freelance or not. And... Yeah, we just need to wait for less game developers to be developing games, so that means that game developers are more in demand, meaning they have um, more power when it comes to the negotiating table. Anyway, I'll see you guys, well hopefully when I get home, but if I can't be bothered to make a video then sorry about that. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring and ding that notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.